everyone. Um, got a pretty big update coming up, 30 films. Uh, probably going to do it in two parts, so I don't need to go too long. But um, uh, let's crack on what we've got anyway. Starting off with a Hammer film, uh, Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. Uh, this one came yesterday. Uh, I've not seen this one before. Um, Hammer film I've not seen. Um, I think made in 1974, released in 74. Uh, another one without Peter Cushion and Christopher Lee, but I've heard good things about it, so I'll check that one out. Uh, another one like a cheap pickup, um, The Haunting of Winchester House, which is like an asylum movie. Um, not known for the good films, the asylum people, but um, this one's supposed to not be too bad. You know, it's, 3D looks pretty effective. I mean, you've got like the 3D glass in it there as well. But yeah, uh, I've had a little, little brief look at it. It looks okay. Uh, 3D is quite effective as well, so it's okay. Um, an early one, a Roman, Roman Polanski one, The Tenant. I've uh, heard a lot of good things about this. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a very, very creepy film. Um, you know, I'm not really sort of tremendous amount of horror in it. I think more psychological, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's supposed to be really good. I've uh, got the box set as well here of um, Hammer House of Horror, which was recommended to me from a friend. Uh, did so I have seen like the odd little bits and bobs of this series, but um, yeah, the one from 1980, the series, I think it was 13 parts to it. Um, this is like the complete, there you go, you've got like um, volume 1 and volume 2 there. Uh, 13 episodes altogether, about, about 12 hours worth of Hammer. But yeah, it was, um, started, sort of stopped doing the films and sort of releasing a few different series. Uh, you've got Hammer House of Horror here, uh, 13 episodes there, and they also did one... Um, Hammer House of Mystery and Suspense, but it's possibly really, really rare to get hold of, like going for £120 on eBay, so you know, I have to be pretty lucky to find that one. But uh, hard, Another hardcore one, I like to buy these, these are quite cheap. Uh, this is off, I think, 9p off Amazon, this one, The Stink of Flesh, uh, independent zombie movie. Uh, not watched this yet, but it looks pretty good. Um, got a lot of gore and things in it. And it looks like a decent one, that, looking forward to watching it. Uh, another one there, Marabito. Uh, from the director of The Grudge. It uh, looks really, really creepy, this film. Uh, this one only came out a couple of days ago, so I haven't got to watch this one yet, but that looks really good as well. Uh, I've got the uh, Vip Car one. I've been collecting the Vip Car films, and I've got pretty much you know majority of them. But um, didn't really want to buy these, because they're just a really bad, car, you know, really, really bad version. You know, cut to ribbons, and there's hardly any, any gore or anything in it. But yeah, Cannibal Ferox. Um, I did have the old pre-cert VHS of this, so I have seen the uncut version. But um, this one's supposed to be like absolutely butchered. This version, I think, missing like six minutes or something. But you know, it was only a pound pickup, so it wasn't too bad. I will get the uncut one eventually. Uh, Pet Cemetery Two. So I just ordered this one just to get the you know because I got Pet Cemetery One. I thought I'd get the you know the couple the two films together. So yeah, that one. Seen it before. I know I saw it years ago, not long after it came out, and I didn't really think that much of it. But uh, is one of the Curse of El Charo. I think it was like um, a one p pickup from Amazon. Um, really, really bad slash film that I didn't like it at all. I think I fell asleep twice through it. No, no, I wouldn't recommend that one. Pretty boring. I think even the diehard slasher fans would be disappointed in that one. Uh, Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein Girl. Uh, watched this on a well, it was a love film on Netflix, something like that, yeah. Uh, really liked it. Pretty wacky sort of crazy over the top film. Loves over the top gore. Uh, I think it's by the same director as Tokyo Gore Police as well. But yeah, this is um, you know, not, not a bad film. Pretty decent, that one. Uh, an old guilty pleasure of mine. I had, to, I had to order this when I saw it. It's a love this as a kid. Uh, the Island of Dr. Morale, which is the one from the 70s, I think 77, with uh, Michael York, but Lancaster. Really, really like this. Um, this come, I had this come a few days ago and I watched it on the same night. But, uh, still a really good film. Really glad I picked that one up. Uh, Deep Rising, which I did use to have on VHS. Another sort of a guilty pleasure. I do really like this film as well. Um, yeah, it's like um, so that's a typical sort of Run of the mill sort of a uh, creature feature, really. Uh, yeah, decent, decent film. Seen it quite a few times, but you know, not bad at all. Uh, George Romero's Bruiser. I'm not seeing this in the UK. You know, a UK release. So I got the Region One copy. But, you know, I've saw this once. I really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd pick it up. You know, it was relatively cheap as well. So you know, decent film there from Romero. And then to finish the first half of this one, uh, an early Larry Cohen film. God told me to. Uh, this one I've had this a couple of days ago, so I haven't got to watch this yet. But um, you know, it's not really spoke of much on his films. Um, you know, a lot of people when they think of Larry Cohen, they think of like Q the Wing Serpent and It's Alive and films like that. Uh, this one doesn't really get a mention, so I'll check it out and see what it's like anyway. So uh, there you go. That's the first part of that update. Um, second part will be coming up soon. Um, you know, hopefully the same sort of time. I'll try and get both the videos posted at the same time and that if I can. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscribers and uh, see you again later. Bye.